Residents are seen running for cover as Israeli airstrikes continued to pound the Gaza Strip on Monday, as Israel pressed on with its most intensive retaliatory strikes ever. The Israeli military said it had called up an unprecedented 300,000 reservists and was imposing a total blockade of the Gaza Strip. It's a sign Israel may be planning a ground assault in response to the devastating weekend attack by Hamas gunmen. Hundreds of people have been killed by both sides in days of violence. After hours of intense bombardment by Israeli jets, Hamas said it would execute an Israeli captive if civilian houses were bombed without warning. Earlier in the day, at the Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza, men pulled injured victims from the still smoldering remains of bombed buildings. That airstrike killed and wounded dozens, according to the territory's health ministry. This 30-year-old Israeli survived Saturday's attack on a music festival, where hundreds were killed by Hamas gunmen. It's really living hell. Never seen something like this. I've been in wars, in two wars in my life, and never seen, seen anything like this. Bodies, all places, for the slaughter. A source told Reuters, Qatari mediators have held urgent calls to try to negotiate freedom for Israeli women and children seized in exchange for the release of 36 Palestinian women and children from Israel's prisons.